Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Tuesday the 5th of April. We begin with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Father God, we can all be quick to jump to conclusions about people's actions, eager to judge and swift to condemn. Too easily we see the faults in others and yet we often fail to recognise our own. Teach us instead to be ready to make allowances, to see other people's points of view, to understand what makes them tick, and to acknowledge our own weaknesses and imperfections. Above all, 
we ask that you will put a spirit of love within our hearts, so that we may see the good before the bad, the lovely before the ugly, the true before the false, and the right before the wrong. Remind us of how graciously you deal with us, and help us to extend a little of that same generosity in our daily dealings. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 49 This is what the Lord says. In the time of my favour I will answer you, and in the day of salvation I will help you. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people, to restore the land and to reassign its desolate inheritances. To say to the captives, Come out. And to those in darkness, Be free. They will feed beside the roads and find pasture on every barren hill. They will neither hunger nor thirst, nor will the desert heat or the sun beat down on them. He who has compassion on them will guide them and lead them beside springs of water. I will turn all my mountains into roads, and my highways will be raised up. See, they will come from afar, some from the north, some from the west, some from the region of Aswan. Shout for joy, you heavens! Rejoice, you earth! Burst into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and will have compassion on his afflicted ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, the Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast, and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Your children hasten back, and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your children gather and come to you. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, you will wear them all as ornaments. You will put them on like a bride.
Psalm 35 Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Since they hid their net for me without cause, and without cause dug a pit for me, may ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and the needy, from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave me like one bereaved. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayers returned to me unanswered, I went about mourning as though for a friend or brother. I bowed my head in grief as though weeping for my mother. And when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Assailants gathered against me without my knowledge. They slandered me without ceasing. Like the ungodly, they maliciously mocked. They gnashed their teeth at me. How long, Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages, my precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among the throngs I will praise you. Do not let those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. Do not let those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They sneer at me and say, Aha, aha, with our own eyes we have seen it. Lord, you have seen this. Do not be silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, Lord, my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, Aha! Uh -huh, just what we wanted. Or say, We have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, The Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness, your praises, all day long. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Teach us, Lord, that few issues are as simple as they seem, that most moral decisions involve shades of grey, rather than unmistakable choices between black or white. Instead of assuming we have all the answers, that the truth is written for us on tablets of stone, May we learn to seek your wisdom and your guidance, and to take the way of love, and so to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Gracious God, we long to love you with all our hearts, our minds, our souls, and our strength. 
but we know that we are nowhere near doing that. Help us to love you a little more each day, so that we may draw closer to that goal. We offer ourselves and our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Whoa.